Hello and Shabbat Shalom to you. Happy middle of the summer, I guess. Hope that you're enjoying your summer. Hope that it's not too warm out there for you. And uh, hope that you'll be able to uh, let go of your summer week and move into Shabbat and find ways to, to do so with family and friends. And of course, by hanging out with us here at Congregation B'nai Israel. This week, we read from the uh, Torah portion called Pinchas, one of the Torah portions named after a person. Uh, Pinchas was an interesting character. Uh, he was quite zealous in uh, the work that he, in the situations that he, uh, that he uh, is portrayed within our text. And we will have some time to talk about Pinchas and his personality and some of his characteristics. But I actually wanna talk about uh, right now with us, the last bit of the Torah portion, which talks about the major holidays. They're actually major holiday reminders at the end of this week's Torah portion, at the end of Pinchas. And it talks about not just regular holidays. So behind me is a sort of a calendar of the whole year of all, all the holidays, but uh, the Torah portion only zeroes in on the major holidays. So it really zeroes in on the uh, three pilgrimage holidays, right? Passover, Sukkot, Shavuot. It uh, talks about Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It even uh, hints to Shmini Atzeret, which is that end part of Sukkot. And also uh, speaks a little bit about Rosh Chodesh, the, the uh, connection to the first of the month. And so I kind of want to ask us this. It's the summer. It's an interesting time, just in general, in terms of the cycle of time and wh where we are. We're maybe on vacations. We're not usually in our normal rhythm. So that's, that's one. I want us to sort of reflect on that. Also think about why does Pinchas uh, end with a cycle and reminder of all the holidays, kind of interesting that this character, which we'll talk more about, fits interestingly right into this, into the Shabbat. And finally, I want us to just reflect on our, on our, how we're doing uh, in this, in this moment during the year. We're actually not that far away from Rosh Hashanah and it's coming around the bend. And I think it's time for us to just in the back of our minds, start to reflect on the cycle of this year and think about how this year has been. And if we have not done so, take a moment to reflect on it, particularly on the Shabbat, because it, it invites us to do so on the Shabbat. So look forward to seeing you soon in a couple of hours. Look forward to seeing you at 630 for our service in our chapel. And then uh, tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, that, that is our uh, our Shabbat hours for our service and Torah discussion and our opportunity for us to maybe delve a little more deeply into the persona of Pinchas. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.